is Tracy Bowman. Bowman for Art on Facebook. T.A. Bowman Studios coming from Buzzards Bay. And uh, I put on Facebook, you know, what colors should I make my blooms next? And a lot of people said blue. So I'm going to do a blue one today um, on an 8x8 canvas using the, what do you call it here? The Color to Go by Sherwin Williams as my base. So let me get you down on the canvas. Okay, here we go. So, oops, it's coming out pretty quick and messy. <clears throat> I like to spread it out a little bit, make sure it gets to where it needs to go. I haven't put my gloves on yet, sorry. bit. And we will spin it. So the reason why I spin it now, uh, it evens out the paint, number one, and it helps it get over the edge. And it makes it so I'm not leaving a lot of the paint on the canvas so when I go to spin my blooms my actual flowers they don't go flying off the canvas we want to keep them on the canvas though we make them bigger when we spin but we don't want them to disappear and not be recognizable anymore try to keep them recognizable sure that it gets over all the edges and see how I'm looking this side is great this side is not so we're gonna do a little bit more Good coverage. Okay. And we'll spin it again. like there's something in there and it's a brand new container you know there was a little something <clears throat> they hadn't even that just opened it okie dokie we can start All right, so I'm gonna start with my flowers. And this color I'm using is Deco Art Midnight Blue. And I added some Prism Pour Metallic, Ultra Metallics. Um, this is clear and it just gives all the paints a lovely um, iridescence and they glimmer, they're just, it's just great. So I can use, any color I want, and it will have that beautiful sparkle. Just a tiny bit more. And I always put them off center. So my canvas, as I'm looking at it, the center is about there. So I'm putting it on either side of the center, not in the middle, unless you just want one bloom. 
and then you can put it in the middle. So next we go to the leaves. So now we know that's where the flowers are gonna go. So now we're, where will the leaves go? So we'll put some leafage here. Leafage here. I want some negative space, so I don't need a lot. I'm gonna make this one extra big, so I'm only gonna put one on this side. And I like to, that color was um, Sap Green by Academy Acrylics. So now I'm going to use um, Green Flash by Arteza. I like my leaves to be variegated and not just be one solid color. So this gives them some variation. And I like to have a bit more variation. <laughs> this is Espresso by Deco Art Metallics. It's hot out. Not all the leaves get to stay crisp and green. They get to be a little wear. There is a little wear. With too much sun and a little too much water. So we're going to add a little gold to them. <gasps> some gold to there too. Okay. Got a couple bubbles here. Not to worry about them too much. Blowing them out with my mini blower will take care of that mostly. I have some cell activator here. This is Payne's Gray Cell Activator. I always use uh, Australian Floetrol. Uh, I found it works the best. It never disappoints. And it always does what I need it to do. Why would I use anything else? Okay, so I love the mini blower. Okay, and I take it and turn it on. And I just, you just blow that cell activator across the colors. Watch the cell action. Don't worry if you're your little puddles for your blooms get misshapen, that will work itself out, you'll see. Not a problem. Okay, now we just let them set. And now we can play with the flowers. So I thought I would use this Deco Art Poetic Plum, I believe it is. I thought it would just give an interesting center to these blue flowers. Do a tiny bit more. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll use some gold. 
the center of those. I want to use a smaller stick. I don't want it to get too much in there. This might be thicker than I need it to be. And it is. So if your paints, after sitting for a bit, get a little too thick, you can add some Josanya varnish to it. Or sometimes I've used the polyacrylic because I, I have it to make the medium. Just a little bit, mix it up. It's flowing better now, but still needs a tiny bit more. There we go. That's still still on the thicker side. I'll give it a tiny bit more and it should be fine. It's so hot here. It's 100 degrees in my front yard right now. It is a good day to paint. Stay indoors and paint. All right, so now I want to use two cell activators. I want to use a white and a black. So I'm going to start with just a little bit of white because sometimes the white cell activator can make it milky sometimes, but I just want a little to help create some different definition. Just a drop is enough. Do what we need to do. And then the black on top. So that was like four drops. Maybe five. Okay, here we go. And the last flower you blow out will be your dominant one. So choose which one you want. I want that one to be my dominant. So I'm going to start with this one and I bring it from up high, looking to see if I'm getting right down in the center, because that's what you want. You want it right down in the center. And then I leave it a little bit in the center to kind of Hope to bring out. Some cells in the center. Okay. From the up high, make sure you get it right in the bullseye there. And then we shoot the petals out a little bit. Look at that. Is that crazy? I think that's crazy. Absolutely amazing. All right. So the leaves have sat for a bit, so we can play with them now. And this is the skewer that I love. And I play with the leaves with this side, and then I make my petals on this side. Come on. Keep working there. Maybe I need a little extra puff. Let me see if I can find a straw. <clears throat> Should be one right here. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I see too much of the white, but we'll see what happens. We just 
kind of make the edges look rounded like and softer. A little doing better. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to now start with this flower. And I use this end right here. And I bring it in, but not all the way. We want that beautiful cell center to be the center of that flower. I mean, because it's just amazing. Imagine the petals on the flower. Okay, and I like to bring my my petals out a bit. Let's give it a spin. Round and round she goes. Ooh, the purple, blue, and plum look pretty together. combination I really haven't done so oops <clears throat> stay in the middle now so since I haven't done that combination mission accomplished okay so now this gives me some room to play and I have fun with that So I've been making these fun little flowers where I take my skewer and I, I dip it down into my paint and then I just drag this out a little bit like that. Okay. And now I'll do that plum color. That's kind of pretty. So now I take a different skewer, just a regular one, and I dip that into the paint. And I come here and here, here and here, but a little bit of ways. Not so close. So now I come back with my skewer and I dip this in the green paint and I start to draw. I come from the stem and go right through that little dot, but not too far. Very whimsical, I think. Isn't that cute? That looks lovely. 
All right, and I'll drag the stem just a little bit down through. So it looks like it comes from there. All right, now I get to do my other flower, my other little accent, and I'll do this one in blue. <clears throat> so again, I take my skewer and I take the back end and I touch it into the paint and I'll go one, two, three. And then I'll go back to the green color and I'll go one, two. Now I'll take the tip and just touch it into the paint, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna drag it right through all of those dots. But I start from above. And then straight through so it looks like it's attached. So I love being able to leave a little bit of negative space to have some creativity. and see where else I can play. Sometimes it works well. Okay. I think she's looking lovely. And I think we're all said, and whoops, I'm gonna just sort of play right there. And a little bit more too. All right, she's done. <clears throat> and check out those flowers. I think they look amazing. Let's see, where's that other little flower? Oh, where am I going? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think they're so sweet. So sweet. Well, <clears throat> thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Um, please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned to see what comes next. Okie doke, ha happy painting. Bye now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and happy painting.